Hello everyone, I am Dr. Arun Reddy, Consultant Neurosurgeon and Endoscopic Spine Surgeon at Care Hospitals Hyderabad. Today I am going to talk about brain tumor and its management. So one thing that we need to understand that uh, people who carry headaches for a long period doesn't mean that they are carrying a brain tumor. That's how it is a common depiction uh, in our society. Uh, so, uh, so in this background scenario, I am going to talk about what are the symptoms uh, that has to be uh, borne. Uh, when we suspect a brain tumor. Uh, uh, headache definitely uh, is one of uh, the symptom of uh, uh, you know a lesion in the brain but uh, that should be a continuous headache especially an early morning headache uh, with nausea or vomiting that is one of the main important symptom in a person who is carrying a lesion in his brain. Uh, second thing is a blurred vision wherein there would be visual disturbances to diminished vision. Person who suffers from a fits there should be a suspicion that he may carry a lesion in brain. And the uh, fourth important thing is paralysis, temporary or permanent uh, in background of headache with nausea or vomiting or simple straightforward seizure may be uh, a depiction for a brain tumor. Uh, these are the important uh, three or four symptoms uh, wherein a person <clears throat> would be under high suspicion for a lesion in the brain. So let us understand, other than this, uh, there are other symptomatology uh, which also uh, gives us a suspicion for uh, brain tumors. So um, once a person who is suspected for a brain tumor, uh, he is subjected to thorough clinical radiological examination where the person is clinically examined and there is a suspicion for a lesion in brain, he is subjected to imaging in the form of MRI scan or a CAT scan with or without contrast and once the person is diagnosed with a brain tumor then in most case scenarios it is managed surgically in few case scenarios the person is kept under observation if he suspect it to be a non-malignant that is a non-cancerous lesion uh, with a small size and uh, in a very few numbers the people are subjected to radio surgery that nothing but giving them radiation to that part of the lesion uh, without operating so that it over a period of time it shrinks. So, uh, in this modern era, there are good neuro gadgets available for the safe excision of the tumor causing minimal or no additional deficit to the patient in the form of high end neuro microscope, in the form of neuro navigation which is nothing, a, nothing like uh, but like a GPS where we use that is like uh, Google Maps wherein the navigator takes us precisely to the tumor location so that we do not disturb the nabbling structures. And uh, there is, uh, uh, and, and also we can use uh, tumor fluorescence, which is nothing but a dye which is injected to the patient, uh, which also denotes the tumor from the neighboring brain parenchyma so that the neighboring brain tissue is spared and it is not affected. And another important gadget is intraop MRI, wherein immediately after the surgery, patient is subjected to the MRI to see whether there is any residual tumor left or not. And again, if we find there is a suspicion of little bit of tumor staying behind, again the patient is immediately taken into the theater and uh, surgery is progress until the total tumor excision is done. So, and as well as now we are in the era of awake craniotomies where the patient is conscious, he talks to us when we operate, especially these surgeries are done uh, in a person who has got, uh, you know, uh, heavy comorbidities or who is not, um, uh, uh, prone to take anesthesia because of the difficulties. Uh, in those case scenarios, uh, we do give local anesthesia to the head and we operate and uh, remove the brain tumors and especially this, this, this kind of surgeries are done in uh, lesions which are in the eloquent cortex that is in the important areas of the brain. So, so brain tumor uh, surgeries are safe surgeries. Uh, if a person who is suspected to have brain tumor, do consult your neurospecialist so that he would be taken of the best of the care. Thank you everyone.